So I got this box of stuff from somebody on Facebook Marketplace. And some of the stuff I already have and I wanted to kind of upgrade some of my things. And then the rest of the stuff will go on my eBay store. But there's a couple of things I didn't have in the box. Like I did not have this lemon Ada in the box. I don't... Yeah, I don't think I do. Got some... Yeah, so I'll have to fix it up inside so that it looks like it's supposed to. But definitely going to hang on to this one. Put it up here for now. And hopefully it doesn't stay up there forever. <laughs> and then I have this apple dumpling ornament. Which let's see, is she over here on my ornaments? Oh yeah, there she is right there. So I'm fine with not having the ornaments in the boxes because I like to have them hung up. So she will go for sale. There's Apple Dumplin' with Tea Time Turtle. And I believe I have a good version of that. Yep, right there. So she'll go for sale. I have a blueberry muffin here. And I have blueberry muffin in her box there. This is a older version, but I'm not really as concerned with collecting the version, so she will go for sale. Got strawberry here in the box. She's missing her custard. And my strawberry is hidden right now. Has her custard there, so I will sell this one. This is kind of the process that I go through when I buy a lot of stuff on Facebook or online. Is I'll go through and look at all my things, make sure that I have one that's better. There's my angel cake. She's in the box and still contained in there. And so I'll keep whichever one is better and then I will sell the other and I have let's see oh this is different I'm gonna have to look at these and see if the actual Valentine's are different if these two are different so if this one is the same as one of these which I'm pretty sure that it is I might keep this packaging and get rid of one of these that has the same packaging just so I have some different packaging there so one of those valentines will go up um, here's some napkins let's see do i have these i've got those two i've got a small well no these are a little different i have the cups i've got a napkin some napkins over here but these are different, so I guess I'll have to keep these napkins. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Oh, raspberry tart porcelain figure. Now I know I have her. I have her up here on my porcelain figures. So, and I picked up these patches. These are like iron-on patches in the back here. I just put them there temporarily, but I just picked those up um, off of Etsy. These you know, they're, they were painted by someone different. This one's a little darker, which I like better. So 
I'm going to stick with her. And then this one will go for sale. Let's see what else I've got in here. So I've got two of these Christmas candles. Now I actually have both of these, but I have them in a larger version and both of mine are not in great shape. So I'm actually gonna keep these and then I am gonna list the larger ones. So I'm gonna put them here for right now. And the gal gave me some candies too for Christmas because it was right before Christmas when I picked these up. She was so sweet. And strawberry music box. Oh, you are my sunshine. That's what she's playing. Okay, let's see. Do I have her? Definitely. Well, I guess I have my radios down there. Music boxes over here. Oh, I have this music box. But I don't see this one. Hmm. Well. That's a surprise. I was thinking I had this. So maybe strawberry is going to go in here right next to blueberry. There they are. Next to those banks. All right, let's see what else we have in here. Oh. You're the berries mug. Super cute. And I have my mugs sitting over here. Pretty sure I don't have this one. Let's see. I got that little mug there. This one. That one back there. And then I have these two here. I also have the milk glass mug for there elsewhere. So this little gal is gonna sit right here. Another item I didn't have. I knew I didn't have that one, though. That one wasn't a surprise. She wrapped this up really nice. The porcelain plate, which I believe I do have. So this will get listed too. Once you have this much stuff, you start to forget <laughs> if you have something or if you don't have something. And then she had this little box, which I did not have. I have a similar one. Let's see, back there that has really yellowed. So I think this one will probably sit back here. There we go. She's back there in her new little spot. And then the last item in this box, all the pencils. She threw some pencils in. And then there's actually a towel set. So let me lay that out for you. First we have uh, dish rags. So I actually don't have this dish rag, but there was two of them. So I'm going to keep one. And then there's a hand towel and a big towel. And I feel like I know I have the hand, well, so the hand towel, this hand towel I have, um, 
but it was like my mom made this for me into an apron when I was little. And I do have the bigger size towel. So those will probably end up on my eBay store as well. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of the process that I go through when I buy a lot of Starburst Shortcake stuff. Usually I will, of course, pick out the things that I don't have and, um, and then compare the things that I do have to see uh, which one is better. And I keep the better one for myself. And then I list the, the others on my eBay store. So these items I showed you today, if you catch this video within a reasonable amount of time from when I put it up, it should be available in my eBay store and you can check them out there. And I always have strawberry shortcake stuff because I do this. I'll buy lots and then just keep the few items I need and sell the rest. So if you're a collector, that's kind of one way to do it because basically for the price I paid for these things, the stuff I am keeping will end up being free once I sell the rest, which is great for a collection. And it's how I got a lot of my stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, which was your favorite item that I got. Like the video and subscribe and have a very nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi guys, it's a quick way to show you how to uh, do some research here. I just typed in on eBay completed listings. I went to Vintage Strawberry Shortcake and I searched highest plus shipping. Um, you can see here the Berry Fun Room complete in the box, $3,500. That seems a bit high, but this is um, the house complete in the box $3,500. These are newer dolls and I do intend to do a video coming up talking about the newer dolls and how to tell the difference between them and kind of what to look for. But um, that should be coming out soon. Now here's a great price that was realized here for Plum Puddin Berrykin. Um, this doll, and you'll see one down lower, she has longer hair. So they look like the regular dolls, but they have really long hair. Um, this is the very sought after cookie jar. Um, here's that same fun room furniture without the box for 800. I was given an opportunity to buy this in the box one time for 400 and I guess I could have. <laughs> Here's that Berrykin doll again with, you can see how long her hair is. Most of the doll's hair stops about their chin length. So um, if you find the dolls with the longer hair, those are the Berrykin dolls. And they're very sought after and hard to find. There's another Berrykin doll. There's another cookie jar. These are the Berrykins, but they're Christmas ornaments. And there's another Berrykin. So you can see these higher prices are for the Berrykin dolls, which this one could have even done better. My friend Brandy over at My Reseller Treasure sold this doll out of her box for $650. So um, I probably would have asked about $800 for her. And I have this mirror in my collection. I didn't realize it sold for anywhere near $500. Hmm. I'd have to think about that one. <laughs> I got mine for 10 bucks. This is the newer strawberry shortcake and it's not going to sell for anywhere close to this. I mean, I would probably list this for $10, honestly. So I'm not sure where they got the idea that they should list, list that for so high. We've got lots, which are kind of outliers. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, here's the Berry Princess doll. Let's see, a lot of lots. Um, another Berrykin doll. Strawberry Shortcake Stationery can do really well. Notepads, little pens, and stuff like that. I mean, $384 here. Um, greeting cards. There are greeting cards that sell for, Strawberry Shortcake greeting cards that sell for well over $100. 
you see strawberry shortcake on something, check the date on it to make sure it's from the 80s. And um, it can very well be a Volo because they can do a lot of strawberry shortcake things can do very well. But this kind of just gives you that idea. And um, like I said, I'll go in more in depth into a reseller video in the near future. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.